welcome back to the McDonald cast, the, the merriest oh. podcast in town. That's a all it's right. It's Christmas. It's, it's Christmas. Christmas time. I should have brought the dumb hat with the Santa reindeer nose guy. Could have. You could have, uh, but you failed. Merry right, Christmas, I didn't do that. everybody. We're all back. We're back together. We had a third camera angle. It's much worse. We got a lot. There's the a two. lot happening today. It took us two hours to set this up, but it still looks bad. Oh, just so you know, by the way, the the third button on this is, is sometimes gets stuck. So if it ever snaps to you and doesn't change, let me know. I'll have to hold one of the other buttons down to That's prevent fine. that. That's fine. I'm glad it's on me and not you guys. Anyway, we got Patrick. I'm He's back. back. He's back here. You're gonna in, in, in studio. In studio for one week and one, or maybe two or three. Two weeks. A couple only. weeks, maybe. We'll see. Well, no, he, we won't record one of these next week. So yeah, just one week only. Why? We're off. Well, we we're, we're, we're doing Why? the we're movie. Break. Oh, the movie. Yeah, we yeah, got other we got other things to record. We've got passion projects. Yes. Um. But anyway, uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, Happy holidays to all who to whoever whatever you celebrate. Hot we're Tucker. here for vague. Hot. Christmas, yeah. vague holiday fun. What? But, that part is not a Christmas. But also holiday. like kind of Christmas because that's what we celebrate. That's true. Tucker's got copy of Die Hard out here. Like yeah, a Because it's a Christmas film. Well, oh. it is a. It takes place on Christmas. There's, okay. There's Christmas Shut music in it. Shut up about Die Hard, please. Patrick, you, I've heard you talk about it every why day. Why is Die Hard not a Christmas movie? Because it's not about Christmas. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. He's bringing his family home for Christmas. It takes, that's the whole plot of the it movie. It takes place on Christmas. Christmas is a huge part of the instigator of the plot. It's about family, and it's got Christmas music. It doesn't have Christmas or cr something Christmas related in the title. I have a machine gun. So? Ho, ho, ho. What? <laughs> it doesn't have a Christmassy title. There's Neither does Gremlins. Yeah, but it's about, it's about really Christmas. Christmas. Gremlins is also a Christmas film. No one not thinks really. that that's a Christmas It's a wonderful life. What's really yeah, that Christmas doesn't say there. Christmas in it. That's but it's, not, it's completely about Christmas. People don't watch Christmas. that either. But so is Die Hard. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's in the same, yeah. Okay, he says started. lots of Christmas let's, jokes let's during the movie. Let's just get started. Just get started. Let's start well, the thing. Okay. All right, Tucker, give us a give us a rundown of so, what's going on. If you watch... You're going to get somewhat a seizure with Well, the thing keeps moving without my me telling it to. Anyway, go. If you watched last year's holiday special, you would know that we're going to talk about the big movie of this holiday season, and then we're also going to play some fun Christmas games. I have three Christmas things for us to do, the points for all of which will tally up, and whoever wins the most points out of all three combined will get the special present that's under our tree. Yeah, I don't know you, can you can kind see of see it on the wide angle. Yeah. There we go. This. It's in there. Special gift. In there. There we go. Yep. All right, anyway. Horribly so, wrapped. But first, we're going to start off by talking about... The biggest movie of all time, Avatar, ever, The Way of Water. The biggest movie ever movied. That's correct. How much money is it made Some so people far? say that it is actually a movie also. I've heard people claim that. As of today. It needs to make $2 billion to break even. Oh my gosh. They spent $2 billion on this movie? Yes. Well, no, they spent a billion dollars on this movie. And, and another billion spend, advertising. And for another, it. They need to make $2 billion total to make any money on it. It's a very, if you think about it, it's a very, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot, it was a very good financial decision. Anyway, Sam, Max, Patrick didn't watch it. What did you think of Avatar, The Way of Water? Keep so, in mind, it's been a week since we saw it. The movie, it. <laughs> as of like yesterday, at least as far as I can tell, has had a lot of controversy. No one seemed to care when the movie came out. It seems like a week later the controversy started. Like once the movie made money, people were like, hey... Those blue guys are Native Americans. <laughs> Stop it. Which I said that when we watched the first one. That's what everybody obviously could tell when they watched the first one. Because they, they are just blue Native Americans. Because the movie is just Pocahontas. But also <laughs> space. So it's different now. Um, but aside from the controversy, uh, obviously we, we didn't participate in the boycott because we... Saw, saw, it, saw it before that that was a thing that people were calling for. What was their boycott for? They because oh, Native Americans. Well, no, some of them are not, but they don't like that they are kind of Native American looking, kind of sometimes. But they're not though. But but they but, the the, but, the first but they use bows and arrows though. Yeah, it's more than just the Native Americans use. No. Bows and they're also blue and eight feet tall. No, <laughs> they are. Uh, they are and metaphor. They, have tails. they are a metaphor for people of color, Tucker. I mean, true. That's because they're blue. 
But the, their color cool. is blue, though, so it's not really, like, real. Anyway, aside from the controversy, I don't really want to get into that. I also There's don't even know... I also don't really know what the controversy is, to be honest. Uh, it's... I anyway, heard of it until now. moving on. Here's what I remember from the Here movie. is there the movie. Water. Here's my summary. That's it's going to be quick because not a lot happens. True. Uh, so the humans come back. They burn up half the forest, which makes you wonder why they didn't just land on the people they're trying to kill. But whatever. Ignoring that massive plot hole that happens in the first five seconds of the movie. They land back on um, Avatar planet. Um, and they build a little city. Pandora. Pandora, right. They, they build a little city. And then after they've built their city, it turns out that the general guy from the last movie has a clone. And that clone that is, is a, a blue guy. That's an avatar. It's an avatar, but it's not because now his so brain's actually in they there. They introduce a new element where they're not technically avatars because... They're clones of dead people with copies yeah. of their brains in yeah, them in, a, in Navi bodies. Before Stephen Lang died in the first movie, they t copied his brain onto a USB stick, sent it back to Earth where they grew a new avatar just uploaded his brain into the avatar so it has all of his memories but it's technically no it didn't have person. his memories what? yeah no, it, did. it, did. it, it did. didn't no it didn't remember it, did. it didn't yes it, did. it didn't remember how he died and he had to watch that video that told him what was happening yeah no he didn't remember how he died because they copied his brain before he died so why would he remember that well he only has some of his memories he's got all of his Most memories of them. except it, the ones that happened during the movie he has all of his memories from before the third act of avatar. so he remembers everything except for the stuff that the audience knows about the character yes Good, good idea. Also, I wanted to. A lot of people were saying this movie is Get Out. No, no, they're not scooping the brains out of people that were already alive. They are making new bodies and putting their brains in those. It's an totally excuse, different thing. It's an excuse to have the same villain from the first movie because they killed him in the first. Because they're movie. too lazy to come up with a different evil well, general. Because, even though they do come up with a different evil general who's only in the movie for five minutes and does nothing. It's because they wanted to have the same villain. And they also didn't want to have it be like visibly because they also wanted to avoid the aging problem. And the best way to avoid the aging problem is if you have them play a cartoon oh, character. Oh, Everyone's having weird. a stroke right now, which is fun. <laughs> um, but yes, this movie is three hours and fifteen minutes long. Um, it has like oh, I didn't finish my thing. I only got to the first like right, beginning. Uh, then we cut to the Navi. Jake goes. I gotta leave. And they go, why? And he goes, I gotta go. And they go, but stay. And he goes, no, I gotta leave. And then and then everyone in the audience went, huh? And then he goes, anyway, bye-bye. And then he gets him and his family and they go on the flying bird reptile things. And they fly all the way to the ocean tribe. And they go, ocean tribe, we gotta live with you guys. And they go, why? You're king of the forest tribe. Why do you want to live with the ocean tribe? You also suck at doing ocean things. Why would you want to live here? And then he goes, I gots to. I gots to live here to save my family. And they go, but like how though? Because like you were already safe in that tribe. What makes this tribe different? And he goes, I gots to save my family. Teach me how to ride an alligator. And so they teach him how to ride a flying alligator. Uh, then the then the military does find them, and so this whole process of him leaving was pointless. Uh, then the military finds them. They stab a whale. The whale is one one of his kids' friends, by the way. They You're stab. Supposed to give a synopsis. You don't have to do a recap. This is a synopsis. They stab the whale. That's the kid's <laughs> friend. There's like five kids. Don't worry about them. They're barely important. Uh, the military finds the whale, and the kids are trying to save the whale, but they find them anyways. They capture the kids. Jake goes into the military ship. Blows up some military dudes. The whale's jumping around. There's fancy jellyfish everywhere. The chosen one is using the force. And then they kill all the military guys and live with the water dudes and everything's hunky-dory. Right. So now that Sam okay, spoiled wait, wait. the whole film. You know what? That's not, what part of that is a spoiler? Mm. Nothing that... I didn't, I didn't say the one spoiler that is in the movie. That's barely a spoiler. Because it only affects a character that was introduced this movie. Sam. You know what I don't get? Why does the stupid general guy that's after Jake Sleet start at the water tribes if he knows that they live in the forest oh that's a great question uh because at one point a helicopter went that direction and then disappeared yep and oh. somehow he realizes that oh because it went vaguely in the direction of the ocean this guy who's unrelated to this helicopter must therefore also okay. be in the ocean before we get into the the whole net because a lot the problems with this movie are all oh also the whales have immortality juice in their brains I was gonna they go... mention that and then they forget we'll about get it to that we'll get to all of that <laughs> hang on before we get into the, the whole plot and like pick that apart let's start off by applauding them because uh, technically this movie is very perfect. pretty it's very so pretty 
It looks so pretty. It's... I never got the whole I was sucked into, like, the world of Avatar thing when the first one came out, and I wasn't really for this one either. But, but like, I get it. I get it. What? I said I get it. Okay, yeah. From, from the motion capture performances to the production design, I guess, from the music, the cinematography, all of the technical aspects of this movie, I don't think you could do them better than they are. And the world building is also very good too. And we, the world building is very much improved from the first so you film. Just I would hate say the as well. plot. The, the, the plot is very dumb. There are some parts of the world building that also are very stupid and barely make any sense. But like from a what is what is even from an ecological perspective, the movie is very thought out and yes. very, the world is very developed, and they they did their best to make this place feel like a real place that could exist yeah. in a sci-fi universe. Like, to compare it with something like Star Wars, mm -hmm. we know a lot about Coruscant and Tatooine. And, like, we to almost the same degree that we know about maybe the, the world of Pandora, right? Yeah. But that's only because they've had 40-some-odd years of like time to, to make every detail important. This movie came out, or this world comes out the gate, being like, this animal eats this animal, these things hunt this thing, and they do this because of this. These animals connect this way, this life can, connects to this life, that, like, all this important? stuff relates. No, it's not important to the plot, but in terms of making a immersive world, like that is important. part yes. of the movie. I would say, my, I, have main, I have two main problems with this, with the story of this movie, which is, the, the first Avatar was always a visual spectacle. No one saw Avatar because they enjoyed the story. Did you see this one in 3D? It was incredibly... We, we did. did see it in 3D, and the 3D is amazing. That's a, It's very good. There's no point in... See, I will just say this off the bat. There's no point in seeing this movie if you're not going to watch it on a giant screen in 3D. There's no other reason to see this. If you're not watching this to have the most purest form of visual spectacle imaginable then you should not be watching it. This movie is like a fireworks show. So yes. in, no in one goes summary. to a fireworks show because the story is good. No. They go to a fireworks show because it's pretty. Yes. So in summary, movie looks great. Go see it in 3D yes. on a big screen. If you can't do that, don't watch and it. And if you watch it in 3D, I think I think we figured this out. The Every 3D version is the 48 frames per second cut. Well, okay. It's in 48 I frames? Looked, I the looked, 3D versions are. I looked into this. That is my only problem technically with this film. I like that. More movies should do is that. Is that... I'm not a friend. Sam is a fan of the high frame rate. I am not a fan of the high frame rate. Every YouTube video is in 60 frames because it's just the best way so to do it. if you don't know what that is... If HF I could do it, I would make it 120. Exactly. HFR or high frame rate is when... So if you're familiar with video games, you probably have a basic idea, but if you don't know... That TV is refreshing at 60 frames per second. The higher the refresh rate, the more realistic it looks. this is running in 30 FPS. This is actually running at 30 because the switch is so, bad. So but you get the idea. What's like the so traditional reason normal films are in 24? Movies, normal movies run in 24 frames per second. Why? Part because film cameras from the like 1800s. Well, we're, we've moved on. No. <laughs> Tucker likes it that way. It's because they don't want you to... Because it's, it's jarring to an audience if it's like speed like running at the same speed as real life okay yeah, number one hold it. up number one that isn't true because 60 frames is not real life because real life doesn't have a frame rate mm -hmm. that's wrong it's incorrect that's misinformation i'm uh, not saying second real life has a frame that's rate. also just not true because tv is broadcast in 30 and no one cares youtube is all in 60 and no one cares every single video game you're trying to get it as high as possible okay. and everyone loves it i don't understand this argument this, that it, it makes it bad right. it doesn't make any sense old men the problem movie with the like hfr it. in this movie is that there are chunks of it that are in high frame rate and chunks of it that aren't. The frame the, rate, okay, yes. almost as if it's a rendering a cutscene, it it's dips because, and drops throughout the Yeah, film. it is because the computers they were using to render it struggled no. with certain scenes, no. and it causes the... Yeah, it does. It James causes the Cameron frame to dip. said it's because they filmed some parts of the movie in HFR, and they filmed other parts not in well, HFR. They need to pick a Well, lane. yeah, that's... Okay, that's stupid. So but, what it does is... Parts of the movie will run at the normal speed you watch a movie in, and then other parts will run at a higher speed. But because of that, it looks like motion smoothing, like so, you would get so on a television. You don't hate that it's 48. You just hate that the whole movie is not 48. I, I wouldn't want it to be in 48. My problem is that there are parts of it that are like artificially 
put in 48 frames per second, which makes it motion no, no, no. smooth. Are they upscaled or are they filmed in 48 he randomly frames? Randomly upscaled certain parts into he 48. Ups, he did not so film it, them no. in 48. So, he did the same thing. So okay, if, so it's like where the computer fills in the missing frames. Yes. Okay, which looks smoother, terrible. Which he did the same. If you go on Disney Plus and you watch Avatar on there, the version that's on Disney Plus is the re-release that came out earlier this year. When he did the re-release, he up it to 4K, so it looks better. Okay. But he also artificially put the entire movie in 48 frames per second, which he means notice? he motion smoothed it, which means instead of being naturally in a higher frame rate or being at the frame rate it was filmed in, it was they artificially inserted frames the to make the movie. Now, now, hold up, though, frames which to... makes everything more different. Because yeah. the computer is also rendering the whole movie, could they not just re-render it in 48 frames? I guess they could. I don't know why he had well, some of it in 48. Cuz if you're upscaling it, frames. if you're upscaling it, it will look bad. But if it if its native frame rate is 48, then that's fine. He did not film it in 48. He filmed it in 24 and then No, but only uh, only a few scenes are filmed. Most of it is purely rendered. So if you're rendering it in 48 frames, it will be 48 frames. There's no real camera. I don't know. The what, fake camera can record whatever frame rate you want. It's not real. I don't know. Maybe he put some of it in. He. I, all I know is that he put parts in 24 and parts in 48. Because all, all the parts where they're that. flying, all the parts where they're in the sky, those are all you high frame. You can tell rate. which parts are and yeah, which parts aren't. But those parts, I noticed, did not look as weird as when they were like in a village and it was high frame yeah. rate. Because I'm pretty sure that where they're flying, it's 100% CGI. So they can just render it in 48. And then so downscale the it for other the other one, releases. They filmed on a 24 frames per second camera. But, but in the scenes where it's so filmed, did. like where there's at least one human actor in the scene, it does I look guess. really weird. Um. Anyway, that's my only technical problem with this. I know you guys are all for making everything in 120 FPS. I don't like it. I, I just like anymore. doing it more. More frame rate. I want it to look smooth and buttery. I don't want it. it to me, it looks... I don't. It might not look this way for a movie filmed in live action. I didn't see Gemini Man. Remember that whole? Yeah, thing? we never saw that. That's another. That, that one was, I think, filmed in 120 or that was 60? in 120. But um, my problem with this is that because literally 99 percent of what's on frame is CGI, because yeah, it, it looks like a video game. It looks like a video game cutscene because video game cutscenes do move yeah. in the frame rate of the game, okay. which is and they're all cool. CGI. So, also, let's think about the projectors at most cinemas. How much do they even do? Like, they probably go to 60. They go to 60, I'm yeah. pretty sure. I don't... There's no practical reason why the projectors would go higher than 60. Well, nothing is released. Most... not Like, most movies that come out are 24. The only one that isn't is this. Yeah. So, well, I don't so know they obviously they're... at least go to 48. And my assumption is that the, the projection technology has advanced so much, it can pretty much just do anything now. Well, but it's not about how far the technology is. It's what projectors did cinema well, they buy. Also, they also what? do... <laughs> But they also do those video game things, so presumably they're projecting in a higher frame. Higher That's frame true. They do. The they do let you rent them out for video games, but I don't know what frame rate they let you, you can get play to. A video game my guess at 24 is frames. Six, my guess is it's 60. This movie only goes to 48, so that's not really because projectors can, projectors can go really high frame rates. The problem is they have really bad like response times because it's a projector, and yeah. so it's like flashing light. Anyway, that, moving on. Back to my story problems. I have two main ones. One is that the entire second act of this movie, which is the longest part, is basically the whole first movie again. And my second problem is that this introduces- Do you remember the first movie? I watched yeah, because like it's this, we just watched it. I watched it like a week before. <laughs> but my other problem is that it introduces two key plot elements that go nowhere, and my assumption is they're only set up for more Avatar films. Yeah, so the whales that the kids are friends with, so, technically everyone's friends with them, but the kids are the only ones that matter. Uh, they have immortality juice in their brains that if a human eats, makes you yeah. immortal forever, so, and they just passively mention it once because, and never address it again. Because these movies are about environmentalism. The movie will be entirely about that. Well, this movie, okay, the Avatar stuff... It's always been about environmentalism, right? The humans destroyed the earth. They need the natural resources of the other planet. Yeah, that's, that's, very that's, clear the, that's their thing. Way. It's not subtle. Neither, neither one of these movies are subtle at all. No, that's never been their, their, that's never their, been their thing. claim. Yeah. But this movie includes a whole anti-whaling message, which whaling is a real thing in real life, too. They do do that to real whales. But we don't we don't get the immortality for juice out of their brains. Husks. But in this one, they whales don't have husks. About, no. My, no. And my problem is not... <laughs> What? What? He said we we hunt whales for the husks. <laughs> the tusks. And then he realized the whales don't have those. We don't have those, bud. No, it's for the juice. Yeah, these have the juice. These Normal whales, whales got the brain juice. juice. Um, but 
My problem is not that that element is introduced. It's a weird alien whale. Sure, it has immortality juice in it. Why not? Why not? Sure. That's My problem is that it's introduced two hours into the runtime, right before the third act, and then has no payoff. Yeah, I don't know why. This movie, I don't think. I don't think James Cameron has heard of Chekhov's gun. I don't think. Yeah. I think he was sick that day in film school and just forgot about that. I think it's because they introduce yeah. a lot of stuff. I think that it, it goes nowhere. I think it's strange that they wanted that to be like a clear. I like how these two just have their own show going on while we do this. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other thing was, um, uh, what's the actor actress's name that's friends with him that like died in the last movie but is here for some Sigourney reason? Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver's character is, is a like teenager. It, well, she's a teenager, but like that's fine. I, I can get away. I can get along with that. Old. Why is she's like the chosen one? Yes. Like she had a whole virgin birth and it's everything. It's like a, an immaculate conception virgin birth. Yeah. Chosen one magic. And like whenever she whenever she sleeps, like the the ground pulses, and like whenever she goes near the water, the fish like go and like munch on her toes or whatever. Yeah. That's like cute. she's like the chosen one, right? The second chosen oh, yeah, one. And the they like was also the chosen one. They just forget to do anything with that plot. Also, my guess is it's gonna go somewhere in Avatar three. At four, one five. point, at one point, she goes and talks to the fish people's version of the big magic tree they have like a big magic sea anemone. i guess and uh she goes and connects to it and has like a has like a stroke she goes into like anaphylactic she, yeah she shock. goes into like anaphylactic shock oh, she has epilepsy yeah she well she has an epi she has like a seizure they diagnose her with epilepsy but she doesn't have it it's a whole thing Which i'm not getting into that because this movie is an epilepsy but my point is is they have her she go, she has an epileptic shock and then and then the the doctor goes jake you can't let her connect to the big magic tree anymore. It'll hurt her. And he goes, never. And and then she's unconscious, so she doesn't react. But then later on, uh, that never ever comes up. Max, what are you doing? I don't Sorry, know. Why can't you guys Stop, put focus. the phone away. Put the phone away. Why are you guys incapable of focusing playing on, on it? <laughs> and so, okay, that's great, Max. Uh, oh, Senior's trying to break Max into. Max finds every movie boring. No, I just find- What was I even Avatar. talking about? Really no, I forgot. We're talking about um, what's her name, Kiri. Right, 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 right. So they say she can't connect to the big magic tree anymore, and then she never, they never like go near it again. Yeah, again. It's, so that doesn't go so anywhere. There's two main plot elements that I'm 100 percent certain they will do in Avatar sequels. The problem is that they set them up at weird, strange times throughout this movie, and they don't go anywhere. The problem is this movie is its own movie, and it feels like just not. It's it's like a build up for okay. It's a build up for another movie. It's like nothing that actually happens in this movie ends in this movie. Yeah. Well, it's just everything that is brought same, up is not resolved. It's the exact same plot as the first one, except water. And uh, there's another thing. This is a, a technical, another technical thing. But uh, every single shot, and this is why the movie is three hours long, has 90 seconds of establishing shots. And then every single scene ends with 90 well, seconds of establishing shots. They wanted to show you the They want it to look cool, but also, I want the story to happen at some point. And when Wait, you have so to, when you, when every single scene starts with a minute and a half of, ooh, do you remember pretty Dune? fish, ooh, pretty tree, yeah. ooh, this pretty like rock. Dune, but on water? But Dune was also no, but, like a 40 minute shorter than this is. And Dune did not have that at and all. Dune was very Dune. condensed with story. Yeah, but they did not have establishing shots that were nearly this long. Yeah, but it was very. Also, the whole movie was in a desert. So yeah. you, once you establish one desert shot, you're good. I think yeah, every shot of like this, cut, 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 cut. Yeah, every shot opposite. of this movie is like, and that's okay. Like, if you do that every once in a while. It keeps the like because it is very much a visual spectacle. It keeps that energy going. It gave the composer a lot. But of like, time if to you write could, music. if you could maybe remove half of those, I think it would still be extremely gorgeous to look at. And it would have moved the story along in a much more not awful paced way. Are, is... are you going to do a condensed cut? Yeah, we'll do an A or cut. I do think there's t one thing that's a, a pretty good step up from the first film. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now the switch is off. I think turn it back on. Oh, no. I was loading. That's cool. The that's TV's cool. loading, guys. Where it's, what's it going to do? Um, let's play. Let's see what the TV does. Oh, no. no. Okay, the switch I is off. <laughs> There's one thing that I think oh, is a... Oh, you could just press the power button. There's, Why did you pull it out of the dock? Just put it in the dock and press the power button. What are you doing? You're, you're, you're giving him such a high-pressure environment. No, Tucker, perform. just press the power... Okay, thank you. Goodness. Press A. There. All Back right. to the fire. Goodness gracious. There's one thing I'd say is a massive improvement from the first film, and one thing I would say is a massive... Careful. 
fixed it. There's one thing I'd say is a massive improvement from the first film, and one thing that I'd say is a massive step down from the first film. The one thing I think they improve on drastically is the action sequences. Not only are they more are there more of them, and they're better dispersed throughout the film. There's more also, happening. There, there's more happening, and they're at, they're better choreographed than the first one. And they're lit better, so you can actually they're see the fight. I actually the third act fight on like the aircraft carrier, I thought was great. Any time where there's the Navi and like a human and the Navi is like a foot taller and just like and they're just them crushing around. them. That was cool. It's a lot of fun. I think the action is much, much, much better than the first one. Oh, and the the wife, even though she has like nothing to do for yeah, like ninety percent of the movie. In the last fight, she's going nuts. Yeah. She's picking up dudes. She's smashing heads. At one point, she shoots a guy with an arrow, then goes up to that guy, picks up the arrow with him still on it, notches it back in the bow. Guy still on it, and then shoots it through his body into another guy. And, and I was the, like, that is so cool. Do that again. The thing and she would, does it again. The thing I would say is a massive step down is is environments yes i think are better on a technical standpoint but visually i think the whole jungle of pandora is more interesting to look that, at yeah the jungle was much more visually pandora's ocean. interesting pandora's ocean is very flat and there's the same like five fish everywhere there's dude, well, it's an ocean what did you expect all they can do Different to make fish. it glowy is they just make the fish glow yeah they just like, make the fish glow it's not like the uh in the jungle like each creature had like spots yeah. or like like camouflage almost that would like glow in the night uh in this one it, the, the all the fish just glow well, and the bottom of the ocean glows and the anemones glow and the whole it. ocean just glows so like why why does anything well, also glow? if you, in real life oceans have massive waves constantly yeah. there's no waves in this ocean well, the whole ocean is very still no 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 so there are big waves but they're like, there's that like rock border that like protects yeah. them from. The, they're like in a lagoon. My problem, yeah, is the lagoon is far less the interesting lagoon. to look at than the jungles oh, of Pandora, which has die. big caves uh -oh. and floating mountains. Did your phone die, Patrick? Well, it's it's dying. Happen. It says it has twenty percent. I can get you a charger. That's a battery thing. It'll be fine. All right. Anyway. Battery thing on. Yeah, but it's dying also. If it dies, we'll be fine. Okay. If it dies, I'll get a charger. It's fine. But the the ocean of Pandora, the ocean of Pandora, where we spend a majority of this movie, there's just less to look at than there is in the first one. And I don't, I don't think it like de immersed me. I would just say because we were retreading the same ground at the same time, but in a less interesting area, that's where the movie really lost. Me. The only reason that this movie even takes place in the ocean at all is so we have a new reason to do a bunch of the same establishing the same shots, stuff again. a bunch of the same. Ooh, pretty look it's at this, and well, that's fine. Also, narratively, to do the same stuff. And also, again. narratively, so we can go through the same There's paces. There's a new avatar as they're getting bullied by the other Navi. Yeah, he's There's, got. They gotta re. Yeah. They gotta re convince them that they're like worth having around. There's a girl that likes one of the dudes, and has but also to, that ended up going nowhere. But it they, will in the sequel. Every once in a while, they just look at each other like they might be but into each other, and then they just like forget that they exist. But for that's a while. the same storyline from the first movie. We get instead of learning to fly the big birds, we have to learn to fly the the seabirds. The the the, the crocodiles, the seals, right? rings. It's, yeah, we're retreading a lot of the same ground. Um, this movie also introduces way too many characters all at once. We have Jake's has two has four kids, and then also Spider. Remember Spider? Yeah, Spider's like a weird human character. That's like the uh, spoilers, I guess. Is the they introduced it very is early the on. son of the uh, of original the general guy from the first movie? Yes, his name is Spider. Don't really know why. Because he is a spider. He's actually Spider Man in the MCU. That's canon. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, he, he just like lives with them. He has to wear an oxygen mask he's all the time, yeah. which like, how does that work? He's where, also, where are they getting more oxygen from when the humans I left? I think it just purifies the atmosphere. Is that how it works? Yeah, because their whole what atmosphere is just like... <laughs> what are you guys what doing? Do? Max's Instagram account was suspended. Kimmy, stop. <laughs> what did I do? Give back my phone. No, y'all keep doing I nonsense. I got suspended. It doesn't tell you. They don't tell you. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we should just meet so them. spider we can't so <laughs> spider is dumb and doesn't really he's he also kidnapped by the humans the whole time and at no point do they give him anything other than a lawyer he serves as a translator but at the same time he like he's like perfectly chill with them just like 
treating him like a prisoner yeah like he he makes no effort to resist him in leads, any capacity and then he leads them to the to the navi and then when they get there it's like no stop yeah so he leads them to like, one of the villages lead he leads them to one of the villages they start burning the village and he's like what what the humans who come here and burn villages are burning a village what what i didn't know this was gonna what did happen you think was gonna oh, happen no and i'm like what what did you think what yeah. that that's what they do yeah I also think um, you don't you don't get mad at a dung beetle for pushing poop around. That's what they do. There's also one of Jake's kids is severely underdeveloped. It's his oldest son who is just established as a character that just does whatever Jake. Tells I follow him to the do. rules. Yeah, and then Jake will go up and be like, "Hey, son, good job following the rules," and he'll go, "Thanks, Dad. I follow the That's rules." That's all he does. And then later on, his younger brother will come up and be like, "Hey, older brother, why do you always follow the rules?" And he goes, "Well, it's because I follow the rules." Yeah. And then they walk off. And, and then at one point, the younger brother's like, "Hey, hey, come with me. We should not follow the rules." And he goes. No, I think I'll follow the rules, and then he just leaves. It like this happens like five or six times. Yeah, I, and I feel because they introduce so many new characters, um, Jake and Natiri's, especially Natiri's screen time, is massively cut down. I was shocked by how little how little Zoe Zeldon uh -oh. is in this. My phone died, I think, too. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, no more phone battery for anyone. All right. Oh well. Anyway. Um. Yeah. It, oh, that might be the Wi-Fi. Actually. Zoe Zeldana's role is severely cut down, which I think is a detriment to this movie. But I think um, Jake solely as a character is improved because they give him something other than other to do than just be bad at everything. And so I think him as a character is improved, but he's in it less, which I feel is a problem. Um, Stephen Lang is great. I'd say most of the cast is actually really good in their roles. Um, but yeah, my real problem here is just that. For how long this movie is, there are characters that feel very underwritten, and it feels like we retread a lot of ground that we didn't need to retread. And if yeah. they do a third one, I think we actually have to do something ambitious and not just go to another new tribe of Navi and learn a bunch of the same stuff again and then fight the bad guys. What's going on? I was just telling them the Wi-Fi crashed on the stream because okay. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. happened. That. So, no, that's the heater over there. Do we have any more thoughts on Avatar The Way of Water? Um, it's the exact well, same. it's game time. It's game. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta say what the way of water is. Same as the first one. Uh, water connects us. It flows oh. through us. It binds the the galaxy to get the the it binds the, the nature planet. together. <laughs> the water is the force. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All right. I also like the designs of the of the ocean Navi better. Yeah, they were cool. They had like fin arms. I like that their like tails were different, and they were like a lighter color blue. See now I'm curious. They were better now I'm curious to see if there's like volcano ones that like live in volcanoes and have like oh, rock I'm sure skin. there's a red one. Or if they have they go to like uh I'm sure there's an evil red one. If they go like underground, maybe there's like gray ones that live underground. Like now I want to see other versions of them. Um so just notes for James Cameron for the next movie. Uh one, if you're gonna just... Oh, and that one of the one was hot. That one was hot. You know the one that was hot? Don't she was say hot. That. That's nasty. Don't say it was the kid. Hey, J no, not the kid. The, <laughs> the pedophile. The one that James Cameron oh, was like, give her the extra kid boobs. Was, written... <laughs> no, the was one she with, one of the, the one ocean boobs? ones? I don't know. The they were. They were one? all. They were the all ocean naked for some reason. One? Yeah. The one who's like, I'll teach How many you guys are you the way. Say? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. The one who comes up I'll and she. You. The one who. <laughs> <laughs> the one who comes up out of the water and goes like this and like is in slow mo. You know that one. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> Avatar: The Way of Water. Good episode. Notes for the next one: uh, shorter. Don't just do the first movie for a third time. Faster, more intense. Yes, and uh, three. If you're gonna kill a character off, make them well developed. Unlike this film, I won't say who dies. One of them dies, but it's the one with the least he, amount of he, development. He dies because he didn't follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, the third act stretches out for way too long. You know the part where they're all like drowning and we just keep yeah, running yeah, back yeah. and forth forever? There's like a 20 minute scene <laughs> where each one is stuck in a different part of the boat, which by the way, we have no like concept of, of the, the geography, of the, of, the geography of the boat. So we don't know how, where they are in terms so of where they are. There's like, like a 20 minute extended scene of them wandering around in random disconnected metal hallways. Like we're supposed to understand where they're going or how close they are yeah. to the water. And we just don't. Also, also, okay, this part actually made me upset. They introduce, at the very beginning, these fish that let you breathe underwater. 
And when everyone's drowning, the girl with the power to control the fish swims by a swarm of fish that let you breathe underwater, grabs one for herself, and then keeps going to rescue them without Bring bringing the, other the others breathy fish. Yeah. Well, are you stupid? Why'd you do that? Anyway. Sam, would you recommend Avatar The Way of Water? I would recommend you see it because everyone is going to know what it is and you're going to want to see the next one. Maybe. Maybe. And so b watch this one, I guess. The only thing that's holding me back from Unless you're boycotting it for reasons, reasons. then don't t don't see it, I guess. Um, my, Honestly, you could, you could miss it or go at this point. I don't care. You, you too. Guys, stop. stop with the phone. I'm serious. Put okay, that away. I'm bored. Okay, then I talk. I gotta pee so bad. Well, then go pee! Let's Let's why were you not doing that when we were talking about the, the movie game. you didn't watch? You, know, you weren't talking this whole time. You could have gone pee any time. I thought we were done with Avatar. Well, we almost are, but then you, you're slowing us down by playing on the phone. Okay. Five minutes. No, you go pee. Talk about Avatar until I'm done peeing. <laughs> you were talking this about it for 30 eight, minutes. Is this is the 80. Yeah, Max, it's a review of a three-hour movie. Yeah, ten minutes for each. You know how We're long? You know how long yell, we reviewed X Men: New Mutants. <laughs> we reviewed that movie for like yeah, an hour movie, and forty five minutes. That movie was funny and stupid and awful. This movie and that is movie just the was only an hour one. and a half long. This movie is the same as the you first one. You didn't even like, watch the first yes, one. Yes, I did. I watched it right before we watched really? the second one. Really? What happens in the first one? Well, let's see. This stupid guy named Jake Soley is a guy whose brother died, and then he uses his avatar and starts talking to people but in like the first like five minutes he gets stranded there and then his wife or, or his future wife goes come with me to the land and then the elder is like but you can't be the avatar because you're a human i don't That's like you the and, then, <laughs> and then and then he's like but i'll train and be one of the whatever the people are called the navi yeah navi and then uh what happens after that oh and then <laughs> uh, and then he comes back to the general and the general's like hey, uh, i need you to tell me what about in the tree and then he's like uh, yeah i got you general but then but then he betrays the general because then, uh, then he likes the lady and they sleep together in the forest. And then, uh, and then the bulldozers come and cut down the trees. <laughs> and, then, and then the lady's like, Jake Sully, Jake Sully, Jake Sully, wake up. And then, uh, and then he wakes up and then he's like, uh, and then he breaks the camera and the general's like, oh, it's Jake Sully, the guy. I don't like him anymore. And, so they, and then they shoot missiles at the tree. And, then, <laughs> and the missiles are like, and there's fire everywhere. And then the general, or not the general, the, he goes, the uh, leader. I love the taste of dying yeah, yeah, yeah. tree people in the morning. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one of the ladies, the lady that like drove him up to the mountain. Oh, that as a thing. Oh, right, right. I forgot. He tames the stupid like flying dragon thing. And then, uh, and then the general, the general's like, and they're like, oh yeah, I love blowing up people for no reason. And then, and then, and then the Natiri's dad is like, ah, I'm dead because the missile that hit me, and now I'm dead. And have I'm this dying. bow I was holding. Have this bow that I don't use. He, that that was like such a video game moment too. He's like, he just died and dropped a magic bow. And then, uh, and then, the, and then the general dies. What about the second tree? Oh, I didn't watch the last 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anyway. But it's the same as the second one. The only thing that's holding me back from recommending it is that 3D XD IMAX is expensive. Is like $20 a ticket. So yeah, it costs us if like you're willing to pay that, I would say it's probably worth seeing. If you aren't willing to pay that, don't go see it in like a lesser format because the story is not worth I mean, if you can money. see it in XD without the 3D, I mean, that'll probably still be that really cool. Might be worth it. Don't see it in Screen X. If a single one of you go no. see that movie in Screen X. Or any movie in Screen X. Don't. I saw, I saw, Why would you watch a movie that way? I saw a TikTok of someone watching it in Screen X, and it looks so bad. I know. Someone, like, so, no, someone posted a TikTok and said, if you haven't seen Avatar on three screens, you haven't yeah, seen Avatar. Awesome. And I'm like, no, yeah, you're right. You haven't seen Avatar because it's cropped into a tiny little, tiny super zoomed in sliver of movie. Anyway, yeah, I don't so, see it in that. But see it in 3D or XD or both that or, or was don't. Our very discombobulated thoughts on Avatar, the way of water. Now, it's time as for. As soon as Patrick is done peeing. Uh, or pooping or whatever. Or, or pooping or looping or whatever. Excreting he's up to. toxins from his. Yes. We body will start our he's, he's game. wanking off in there um, all right thank you max for that <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying i know what he's doing in there it's weird he's gross 
you know, Patrick, he's all gross. And Did you hear what Max said dude, you were he doing? Said he said you were can't go there. Go the around that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. You can't say that's all bad. That's bad in Australia. Oh, that's oh, a it slur. Is? No, uh, the, uh, wankers. I mean, oh, no, now you've said I it. I mean, uh... <laughs> Uh, banker. Hi, Cena. Oh. Hello. Here comes podcast dog. I've got a story right. I can tell you about that. Later. We don't want to hear your poop, well, Patrick. Just, we don't want to hear your poop story. Let me close Patrick. the door and then we'll get started. Oh, hello, Cena. <laughs> hello. Everyone can see her now because we have the <laughs> wide <laughs> angle. Oh, oh, whoa. Don't, don't let her lick your stop. face. That's doing? gross. Stop. 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 He's got food stop on his it. face that she's looking stop. up. Stop it. Oh, whoa. Hi, Dina. Hi, Dina. You go get a treat from Tucker? No, 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 no. Bye bye. Are we still live? Or? Yeah, well, um, no, not live, but we are recording. Okay, good. We were just waiting for you to get back so we could start the game. Okay. You know, I'm really good at these games. Yep, all right, let's go. It's Don't... time to play boo doo 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 game. But the time of game, it's up, 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 gaming Here's time. Here's how this is going to work. For, for our fun Christmas special, right? Right. We have three games, all right? One of them, our first game, you will have to guess the movie from the small sound clip from it I play. So it's very hard. You're, very, you're probably not going to get any of them. I'm going to get all of them. <laughs> Why do you come up with these games? Your second one, I will give you a title and a summary of a movie. And you'll have to tell me whether or not it's a real movie. That was our idea. Or I yeah, made it's it up. Or fake, yeah. It's a, but they're all Christmas themed films, okay? And then the third Christmas one idea. is just various Christmas movie trivia. If you get it right, you get a point. Oh, so, you should have had the AI write these fake movie uh, summaries. Oh, yeah, I really could have. I think it would have been too vague, though. They probably all would have been the same. No, so, but like they're usually vague anyway. Anyway, yeah. So, um, for the first one where you have to guess the movie from the sound, you'll get two guesses <coughs> for each sound clip. I can play the sound clip as many times as you want me to, but I can't play anything other than just that sound clip. I think we should only get three plays of the sound clip. All right, that's fine. Because if, if we can play it unlimited times, mobile. we'll just keep doing it. Okay, they're very short sound clips, all right? Oh, he's going to give us like half a second and expect us to get the movie. It's like pretty much. <laughs> okay, okay, five times, five times. This first one is three seconds long. Okay. All right, I'm not It's also going to take me a while to set him up because I have to scroll. Is it like minutes. easy to hard or just whatever? It, it's a random order. Okay. Are you keeping track of points? Yeah, I'm going to. Er, you guys can all get the point from the round, but if you don't guess it right, you don't get any points. Do we need okay. whiteboards to like write it on or something? I'm just keeping track on a computer. Okay. I was are you ready? Whiteboard, but you didn't just hurry up. Just hurry up. Just let's do it. No, oh, why are you in a hurry? I'm not in a hurry. I just shut up. All right, play everybody, shush. Sh I know. All right, guess. Elf. Elf. Yeah, that's elf. Patrick's locking an elf. Sam's locking an elf. Yeah. Wait, can, do I get extra points if I say exactly what scene it is? No. Can you play it again? <laughs> you just need me play it five times, aren't you? No. It's the one where he's in the mall. Yeah, he, it's that's where he's that's where he's Christmas. tacking the the specifically he's got that foam stuff and he's nailing it to the roof yeah, of that. But I cabin. got it first, so you don't get the point. Enough? No, we all get the no, point. Why do we all get play the play point? One more time. Elf, come on. Play one more time. Okay, <laughs> we only yeah, we only elf. get three plays. All right, you all locked an elf. That yeah. is correct. So you all get a point. I knew elf would give be like the first. All right, let's. There's a round of applause button, but not on Patrick's. What if one person just gets it right every time, and then everyone else just guesses their answer? All right. That's why I think I think there should be a point for knowing the movie and knowing the scene. All right. No, that's and then that way there's only two points or per round. Or we should just do whoever like says. Too bad our Wi-Fi in here sucks really bad. Are you playing them off Google or did you download the file? I have them on YouTube clips. That's very bad and dumb that you're you did it that way. You're a dumb person, Tucker. <laughs> how's, it, how's it feel to be stupid? I'm just scrubbing. I wouldn't know how that feels because I'm smart. I have a big brain. All right. So again, big it's going to take a really a big, long time to set these uh, up. All right. You guys ready for the next one? Are you ready for the next one? Yes. All right. Here we go. Home Alone. That's all you get. Uh, I'm also guessing Home Alone. Play it again. Yes, I can play it again. That was pretty short. Oh. Now. Yeah, I didn't hear the last. Can you play that? Last yeah, I think thing? that is Home Alone. I think that's something falling out of a closet and hitting someone in the head, something like that. One more time. I'm play one yeah, more one more time. Play it louder too. I can't play it any louder. I'll go Home Alone still. So we got a Home Alone. Christmas Vacation. Yeah, it's either Home Alone or Christmas Vacation. But Max is locking in Christmas Vacation. Oh, it, Christmas yeah, vacation. it could be where... Yeah, play it one where more time, actually. He, he turns on the yeah, hang on. This play is it. your last one. 
Oh, could that one. Hang on, shh, 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 Yeah, I'm changing yeah, the Christmas vacation. Yeah. yeah, that's where he steps no, 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 on the board. Change it. He can't change it. He yeah, you already locked, already locked in. in Home Alone. Oh, darn. Okay. I'm, I'm changing the Christmas vacation. Right, we have two Christmas vacations, one Home Alone. You guys are correct. It is Christmas vacation. Woo, yeah. Yes, let's go. Yeah. And that's specifically that's the scene where he falls through the roof. That is the scene where oh, uh, nice. Helen turns the light. Turns that's the light. what I thought yeah. when she flips the light switch. So, Patrick, you're Oh, it is? I thought it was the one where he steps on the board and then it hits him in the face. That's what I thought that sound was. All right. This one is going to take a. No, because it's the sound of a door closing. So I thought, yeah, I know. I thought it was the board hitting him in the face. Yeah, I'm pulling up the next one. Though. Pretty sure they use the same sound for okay, both. All right, this one is probably gonna be the hardest because there's the least amount of like, total noise going. But we'll see if you can get it. And according to that, your phone is still at twenty percent. Nice. That if is definitely not true. Better, it could go much faster. <laughs> probably sacrifice. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Is right. If we do this game next time, uh, you gotta download save. Yeah, these. yeah download right. the file. You ready? All right. Shh, shh. Yeah, go. Something spooky. Oh, it's Polar Express. Express. Yeah, Polar Express. Express. You should have not left all aboard on there. <laughs> yeah, what other crazy. Christmas movie has like a train guy? Yeah, you're right. It's all it's Polar <laughs> Okay, yeah, we all got that well, one. Well, I thought you would get it just from the train. So far, I think me and Max are tied and Patrick so, is down Patrick one. Patrick has to get one. Me and Sam have three. Keep in mind, all the points will total up from each game. Yeah, so, so they'll cross over. If you guys suck at the next one. And I'm Patrick at two. Good at it. Two. All right. Uh-oh, hang on. Uh -oh, this is not good. I guess too quickly. What happened now? I might have closed the playlist with all the clips on. Oh Tucker, why? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. If our Wi Fi, our wi -fi is very slow. Where did you even get all these clips from? I just searched them on YouTube and then I put them in a playlist. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I did not. Why are you not connected to the extender? Because the extender doesn't work. It does. How are you taking this long? The extender works fine. I have to wait playlist. for the clips to load every time and it, does, it takes forever. And then I have to scrub to where they are in the clip, which also takes forever. What? Yeah, like I just now got the ability to scrub, so now I'm going to correct part here. All right, ready? In three. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh God! Is that a again. gunshot? Play it again. That's too. There we go. All right, ready? Is it gremlins? Yeah, it's... It's gremlins or like Alvin and the It's either gremlins or it's like Santa Claus 2. There's no shotguns it's in like Alvin Santa. and the Chipmunks. I mean, is there an Alvin and the Chipmunks Christmas movie? I'm Actually, sure. I think... Is, the first one is, the a, first Christmas one is a Christmas movie. Uh, <laughs> but that's not shotgun. what that is. There's no gun shot. Yeah, there's no guns gremlins and... Gremlins make like a... Ugh, gremlins, like I a think there are gun noises. I don't think any of you are going to get this. Is it it's Santa so Claus scary Conquers scary. the Martians? It could be Santa Claus Conquers the is Martians. So I'm guessing really Santa scary. Claus Conquers the I'll Martians. I'll Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. So Sam and Patrick are lucky you get Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. You played again one more time. All right. Last time. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna lock in whatever. I, I don't know why. All right, you, what are you locking in? Max? Santa Claus fights the Martians. All right, you are all wrong. It's Krampus. Krampus. Oh yeah, we haven't seen that. I didn't know there were little gremlins in that. Uh, we haven't seen that one. Gingerbread men. Oh. There's evil gingerbread men. All right. This Good one, to know. All right. This well, one is very very it. easy. You should all get this one. If it loads at some point. Bum 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 Oh, wait, I didn't turn the sound on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Tucker, you were Why is the sound screen? off? Because there was an ad or something. No, because I have to skip the first part of the clip so you don't hear the rest of the clip because then you'll be able to tell instantly. Okay. Ready? <laughs> oh, that's uh, a Christmas story. story. Yeah, yeah, that's where he gets his tongue stuck to the thing. All right, that's one point for all three of you. Patrick is really. I did, I see. Uh, you're done. I'm not... I, I told you that one was really that one. Yeah, that one. Everyone knows that one. We get four points for what? Why would you be at that? If you don't have a mic, you can't guess. 
Yeah, you don't have no mic, no guests. Yeah, where's your mic? I was holding oh. it. It's right here. <laughs> Patrick just took it. I, I didn't do no that. Mic, I didn't no do guess. that. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. No, we don't. No, we don't do that. We don't say that. We don't say that. This one's probably gonna be a little bit harder. All right, ready? Yep, let's go. You turn it up. The Santa Claus. Yeah, I can't hear that one very well. Turn it up. Uh, let me see. Is your YouTube like in the browser turned up all the way too? I can hold the computer up. Yes. Let's try that. Or connected to the. You better have a Christmas. I can't hear hmm. it all. Just connected to the speaker. You know what? I can't because they hey, messed this up. I'm gonna guess Christmas with the cranks. Okay. That's your socket and Christmas with the cranks. Are any of the movies? No. Uh, could you play it again? Why don't you guys all I go down I with me? I can't hear it at all. All right. Shh. Just everyone shush. Is it Home Alone? That is Home Alone. Is it Home Alone? I'm locking it's in Home Alone. It's the one with the creep. Uh, okay, Santa wait, Claus. wait. The, the is Home Santa Alone Claus 1 and 2 in here? Are they like. You can't ask I if there's movies in that. the list. Yeah, I'm going to guess Home Alone also. Are there sequels in here. You already I locked in no, something I, else. I though. changed my lock. It's, you can't say you're locking in and then all unlock Christmas in. All Christmas films are eligible. It could be any of them. Home Alone. All right. Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone. All Home Alone. You're all wrong. It's Miracle on 34th Street. Oh, I knew it was some movie with a Santa Claus I, in it, but the, every Santa Claus it. sounds like that. You know how um, at the start of the movie, there's the drunk Santa Claus, that real Santa Claus. <gasps> oh, movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he like falls off he the, falls off the, the parade it float. The, it was the remake, by the way. Yeah, movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're wondering which... Miracle in 35. I've only seen the remake, by the way. The original one is much weirder. Okay, next next film. I'm working on it. Did you see the 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 Rick and Morty Christmas episode where they he gives Jerry the like three hour cut of oh, of Miracle on Thirty? He's like, oh, and there's a Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street and Thirty and there's a Miracle on Forty Second Street, <laughs> and he just stands there and keeps saying that for like right, three hours. Ready? Yeah. All right, hang on. I need to rehab. Okay, ready. you play it again? Yep. I can play it as many times as you want. We're hunkering down. <laughs> Jesus. Max is throwing stuff. play it now? Yep. Yeah, go. What's that Netflix one? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is it like... There's a store and they're um, selling Christmas stuff. This is an animated film. <clears throat> Could be. Let me give my, that give sounds my like the voice actor for uh for Mr. Ping. Oh, peeking. But I don't think there's a Christmas Kung Fu Panda movie, so I don't think that's it. Hmm, like that's a tough Kung one. Kung Fu Panda holiday special or something? Are holiday specials eligible? Uh, no. Okay. Okay, so it's a movie. It's a movie. Hmm. Right, I can play it again if you want me to. Play it again. Maybe Is it Jingle All the Way? You lock it in Jingle All the Way? Uh, yeah, I guess. All right, Sam's locking in Jingle All the Way. I'll guess that. Because I'm thinking in the mall, maybe that's maybe like a scene that's playing when when there's like all their shopping going on. I'll guess. I'm thinking. Wait, no, that's Home Alone. I'm gonna guess Home they Alone. Don't, until he, it's no home one home. ever buys presents home in Home Alone. Buy it's where he uh, goes to the grocery store. And he's like, think they would be No, but he stuff. steals that. He doesn't say, don't forget your change. He steals the toothbrush. Christmas Fine. with the cranks. <laughs> so you lock in. No, I'm not locking. I'll lock in Christmas with the cranks. <laughs> Patrick's locking in Christmas with the cranks. Sam, you're sticking with home Jingle alone. all the way. Jingle all the way. Yeah. So, two Jingle all the way. You're all wrong. It's how the Grinch stole Christmas, the Jim yeah. Carrey movie. If you remember at the very start, I haven't seen the Who's it. Are, in that movie, the Who's are like obsessed with capitalism. Remember? I mean, I have seen it, but only in like it's I saw action. it once in third grade. 
Okay. Right. There's only How many points. Do we all have? Uh, Sam and Patrick. Uh, sorry, Sam and Max are still at four. I'm at three. Patrick's still at three. I don't think either any of you got like the last two. All right. All right. Next one. How many are left? Uh, three are left in this section. Okay. Ready? You paid hard. <laughs> what? Oh, just to go. He said you paid too hard, which is not a real sentence. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> you All ready? Three, two, one. That is almost certainly Gremlins. Max is peeking my screen, by the way. Oh, Max, sit back. Sit. I'm doing this. <laughs> Max, get, sit, sit. I can't see it. I'll say Gremlins. Max, sit in the chair. I can't see it. Y yeah, and you won't need to see it if you're sitting in the chair. Get, sit in no, the chair. No, I want to hear it. Being over there is not going to make it easier to hear. Yes, it, it is. I'm closer. You can sit right here and do what I'm doing, and you won't be able to. Yeah. No, we can't actually. All right. Good. Stop locking in Gremlins. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm locking in Gremlins. Gremlins. All right. Woo! I don't think either of them had guesses though. I'll do this. I did. I guess Gremlins. No, they all said. I okay. guess Gremlins first. Um. Oh this is the second to last one. Win. Can't win. This one is fairly easy, and then the one after this one is nigh impossible. Okay. All right, go. All right. Double check. Okay. Three, two, one. Here we go. That's John Morgan. Home alone. Long yeah, time. sure. Home Alone. Patrick, oh, Home Alone? Patrick knows. Can you, can Patrick you knows the John Williams exactly songs. Already. That's Home Alone Two. That's the birds. All right. Sam thinks it's Home Alone Two. I just, it's Home Alone. I don't know. You're all wrong. What is it? It's a Batman Returns. That does That's not count. Not hey, Tucker. That does not oh count. That Tucker. does count. How does that get? No, okay. You oh. can make an argument. No, 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 no. You oh, can make no, an no. argument for for like Die, Die Hard, Hard and Gremlins. Nobody is making the claim that Batman Returns the whole movie, is a Christmas movie. The whole movie takes place at Christmas. That doesn't matter. So keep going. Right. If I add this snow, be a Christmas okay, movie, that one is snow to a movie. It doesn't make it a Christmas movie, Tucker. Okay, <laughs> is the last one. No, you're all gonna say an answer, but it's you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific on this one. Okay. It's a Christmas. Do we have Muppets. to say exactly? Oh, yeah, it's the Muppets, Muppets Christmas, Christmas Carol. Carol. You have to. So you all. Have to, it's a Christmas Carol, right? Yeah, it's the Muppets one. Which one do you think it is? Muppets the Muppets Carol. one. So we have two Muppets. That's the only one that you would. Put You're not going to consider any of the other ones. It might be the Jim Carrey one, but I don't think so. You all lock it's in. It's either the this or like the animated one, but it's still Muppets. I think one. Tucker's wrong, but I'll just lock it. Tucker's. I, I think he's trying he watched, to reverse psychology. You watched like all these movies, like in the last like. It's the Jim Carrey Christmas Carol. Oh, okay. I did say that it could be that You're one, stupid. but you didn't lock it in. You all went to Muppets immediately. Wait, okay. is that the animated one? Yeah, it's the animated one. That's the animated Let's one. Let's play film or fake, shall we? Yeah, all right, so, what it, so me and Max both had four and Patrick had three? Uh, you guys each have five and Patrick has four. Okay, okay, that works too. So you got like a, you two both had half of them, Patrick got That game sucked. Make <laughs> a right. better game next year. Patrick, mattress, Max, sit right. back in the couch. Are you guys I can't ready? see. Fine. We're, you don't need to, you, you don't need to hear anymore. No, I mean like, I, okay. I'm I, talking, what on earth is going on with your cable situation? Are you guys ready for film or fake? Tangle that yes. out from your mic. You're gonna knock your now mic off the thing. It's gonna be fine. We're all good, guys. Oh, that's fun. good. Yeah, I'm surprised it's lasted that long, to be honest. Fun times. All right. Maybe the battery is like keeping it alive somehow. All right. I think it's slowly. You guys ready? So, oh, yeah, let's go. Let's. If you don't know how film or fake works, dire. I'm gonna that's read them a title of a movie, uh, the year it came out, and a and a synopsis. <laughs> um, the synopsis is either really short or like fairly. We don't need it fairly chunky okay and we have to determine whether or not that is a movie tucker made up or, or if it is a movie real that movie that exists all right ready have the AI max max this is a part that would go on tiktok because people would watch this to play along all right ready i'm not gonna cut. the first one is oh elves Fine, i'll do it from 1989 would you like a summary of elves give us this yeah you gotta give us a summary of all of them a Not young real. woman discovers that she is the focus of an evil nazi experiment involving selective breeding and summoning <laughs> elves an attempt to create a race Film. of supermen Film. She and two of her friends are trapped in a department store with an elf and only Dan Haggerty as the renegade loose cannon Santa Claus can save them. It's real. It's Film. real. Film. You don't have the imagination. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to guess real because I don't know if you'd come up with a plot like that. this. 
You're all saying real. Yeah. It's all film? Yeah, yeah that's it film. It is film. That is that's real. Not, yeah. You're not that That's creative. too specific. <laughs> like, if it was like... That's, I think that's the most specific summary. If you had just said Nazi elves, then maybe you, I could see you coming uh, these, up, up with that. This may go very poorly for me. I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> this I is why I usually do the things for this game. all of them. Um, the only thing I was going to say is a helpful hint, if you couldn't figure that one out, is it's from the 80s. And it came out right after Gremlins. So yeah, they were just sense. trying to rip Gremlins off, which was the obvious intent. All right, next one. All right, next one. The Nuttiest Nutcracker from 1999. Transported to a magical land, a girl and a nutcracker must save Christmas. Actually, I think this one is real. I think I've heard of this one. I'm going to say film. Max says fake. Patrick says film. Sam, you say film? Yeah, I'm going to say film. All right, it is film. It is yeah. real. That's a real I'm movie. pretty sure I've actually seen trailers for that. Tied, Sam is now in the lead. Uh, Max and Patrick each trail by one. All right, ready for the next one? Yes. Christmas Cheers from 2003. When Davy first bought a bar, he thought it would be as simple as putting a star on a Christmas tree. But when the greedy Mr. Dickens tries to buy the land to build a new shopping mall, Davy has no choice but to raise enough money to save his bar. And the only way he can do that is by putting on a Christmas play. That's fake. fake. Uh, yeah, I think fake that on that like one too. Morty, like, Especially because it's Christmas yes. Cheers, which is Cheers like the show about a bar, and you made the villain's name Mr. Dickens, <laughs> who is Charles Dickens. <laughs> uh, so you're all going fake. fake? It's all I'm fake. going fake because I think you just mashed up yeah. a bunch of Christmas it words. Yeah. <laughs> right. Next one. Yes, next one. Holiday in handcuffs from 2007. That sounds like something that would be made in 2007. Uh, a struggling <laughs> artist working as a waitress loses her boyfriend and flunks a job interview. Feeling like a failure and with the pressures of an intimate family, appro family Christmas approaching, she determines to bring home the perfect boyfriend, even if it's a federal it's a offense. Hallmark she movie. determines or is determined? She determines. Okay, that's a fake because I feel like you just mistyped that. I think it's real. <laughs> yeah, it's film. Two films, one fake? Yeah. Wait, you said fake? Yeah. And you guys both said real? Film. Okay. You guys are all tied because that's a real movie. Yes. Oh, all right. So we're back to a three-way tie. I have no tiebreaker. Well, actually, you can just do trivia until there's a tiebreaker, so it's fine. Are you ready for the next one? Next one. The Magical Christmas Song from 1993. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Magical Christmas Song is the name of the movie. <laughs> Tucker, you're the least original person. Uh, the kids at Hillsbury Orphanage are this given a magical so guitar fake. that grants all their Christmas wishes by Santa Claus. However, evil witches steal the guitar in an attempt to destroy Christmas, and the kids must find Santa Claus to stop them. It's from you know what, film. This sounds like it could be a knockoff of Hocus Pocus. I'm going to say film. I'm saying fake. It, it could be but also it's generic enough that you could have come up with it i think it's fake i'm gonna say film i'm gonna say fake too so you say both fake because so far there's only been one fake okay i feel like there's i feel like this has got to be fake because we just don't haven't had a fake yeah. Dang it. let's go now falls behind um let's go yeah it's, yeah when i was coming up with that one i was like i was thinking if it is like a like a 90s like direct to vhs like crappy cgi like kids film. i could imagine that being a knockoff of hocus pocus that seems like around the same time that yeah. that would have been relevant all right santa's vacation from 1979 while flying home on christmas eve santa crashes in sunny california at first it seems like a chance for a perfect vacation but when soviet soldiers show up and attempt to take That's control of real. the resort the only one that can stop them is Santa That's Claus. Real. When was this made? 1979. Yeah, That's it's definitely real. real. It's real. You all think it's real? It's real. Yeah, I'm going real on that. Yes, it's fake. I made oh, up that one. Oh, all right. <laughs> Good job. I, I knew as soon as I threw at the Soviet <laughs> Union thing, you were all going to think it's real. Because <laughs> it's way too specific to be fake. All right. This next one. Although I do feel like the Santa Claus character we made up that like I would imagine <laughs> he would be in that That was my first thought. No. Tucker just kind of comes Yeah, I was like Santa as character. soon as you said Santa on vacation, I pictured like the Santa Claus from <laughs> was, our movie. Yeah. All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. yeah this one's very hard. Christmas Land. Ooh, Marquez Brownlee wished you a merry Christmas, Thank Patrick. You. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> Land. After inheriting a Christmas tree farm, a woman's plans to sell it change when she falls in love with the townspeople and meets a charming lawyer named Mr. Barnes. That is absolutely real, real and that is a Hallmark yeah, movie. Real. But is it a real Hallmark movie or a fake it's Hallmark Well, the last one was fake. This one's real. But we <laughs> haven't had two fakes in a row yet, so this could be fake. Real. I'm more yeah. metagaming at this point, though. Did I make up a fake Hallmark <laughs> What's the year? movie? Or is it's it real. real What's movie? the year? 2015. It's real. Mm. It's real. Real. I'm going to go fake. Two reals, one fake? 
It is real. Yes. Oh man. So I'm in the lead now. Yeah, what's the score? So, okay. Now me and Max are tied and Patrick's up by one. So let's see. I have to count. Sam's at nine. Patrick, I believe you're at ten. And Max, then is at nine. Max is at nine. So Patrick's one ahead of everyone. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. So that was film or fake. All right. I did six because um, these are hard to come up with. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready? Now we're just going to do a name Christmas trivia about Ew, random movies. Patrick, All right. Let's go. Um, let's uh, so let's we can do, do it. You guys want to do, do trivia on It's a Wonderful Life, Miracle on 34th Street, A Christmas Story, Christmas Story, Home Alone. What do you want to do? Home Alone. Home Alone. Yeah. Let's Home Alone. do Home Alone. We probably know the most about that one. All right. What city is the McAllister family planning to spend Christmas? Chicago. Sh no. They're from Chicago. They're from Chicago. Uh, they're going to like a. They go to New it's a beach place. New York. No, no, that's the second no, one. No, no. It's the it's a beach. Are you guys gonna drink those waters by the way? No, but I don't think they ever actually get there. No, the half the family does. No, but we never see them there. No, they're trying to go they're to. Chicago. They're trying to go to. Uh, Hawaii. I'm just gonna. Is it Hawaii? Hawaii? You guys start the recording, by the way. Yeah, it's okay. been recording the whole Hawaii? time. Uh, it's I'm, not I'm Hawaii guessing Hawaii. Because everyone has. Everyone speaks a different language. No, it's uh, Hawaii. Lock in an answer, Max. Thinks it's France. Hawaii. Lock in Hawaii. France. I'll go with France. It is Paris, France. Correct. Yes, what? I knew it. They went to Paris. So Max is now two behind. I was Patrick, totally Sam's wrong about one the beach, but you're right. I remember. Yeah. Language. Uh, we're gonna keep doing. Wait, you guys guessed the same thing. Yeah. Uh. What is the name of the Patrick. traveling polka band Kevin's mom Kate travels with on her way to Kevin? Ah, shoot. This polka is pretty dots. specific. I like this. The mustachio. No, no, no. Machos. It's, not the polka dots. it's the. the polka. polka. I'm guessing the polka dots. I, already said the polka. I don't remember at all, I and I'm not going to get dots. this. Polka Pelcos. That's Got a lock and an answer. Max, throw me one of those. Polka. I'm guessing Polka Pelco. Real word, but it's Max is saying thing. polka pelcos. You're not gonna. Kill. I'll go with polka dots just because I don't know polka what polka dots. Yeah. Sam's just got nothing. <laughs> I said polka dots. Okay, it's the Kenosha Kickers. Ah. Oh, okay. All right. Like, you say ah oh, like you could have even. I would have got guessed. it. Okay. I should have got this it. This one is impossible. How many siblings does Kevin have? Oh shoot. Twelve. No siblings. I lock in twelve. Just siblings. No, he two. has cousins. He has two siblings. Oh, siblings. Oh, siblings. He has two. He has a sister and a brother. Yeah, I think it's two. I'm thinking of all the different rooms in his house. Hang on. Is he has a... No, that's the third one. Yeah. Yes. Buzz and the brother. girl. Yeah, I, I think, think it is two. I don't think he has any other two. siblings. Just two? two. Yeah, I guess two. two. Yeah, two. Four. Four? What? Okay. Um, I know it's boy? Buzz. Uh, the blonde girl who makes fun of him is his sister. And then there's another red kid who makes fun of him. That's his brother. Scarlett Johansson. That's the, third, That's the one. third one. And then uh, he has a fourth brother, but I don't remember who that is. Okay, well... Dude. Well, he's got four. All right, next All right. question. I don't think the fourth one ever talks. In the third um, one, he has two. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Which comedian plays Gus Polinski, the polka band musician who helps Kate? Oh, oh, shoot. I, I know no what he idea. looks like, from, but I don't know his name. Uh, yeah, he's from... I'll go with whatever Sam says. He's in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. With... He's the what's fat the guy's dude. Name? Steve Martin. Steve Martin. And, I'll lock in uh, Steve Martin. It's no, not it's Steve not Martin. Steve Martin. <laughs> it's locked in. It's not the guy who plays Tommy Boy. That's you have to put a timer on this. No, he doesn't. 15. Oh, I can. It's 14. Stop no. counting, Patrick. 13. <laughs> it just starts counting randomly. 12. Uh, I don't know his name. Lock in Steve Martin. I know his me. name off the top of my head. You guys don't. Yeah, but I haven't seen any movie he's okay. in other than this no, one. Yeah, you have. None of us know. No, that. I haven't. Yeah, you have. Dude. Is he voice act? No, he's then I haven't. Movies with him. None of us know it. All right, no, no answers locking it. Jim Darryl Philbin. I locked in Steve Martin. Martin. Steve Martin. Daryl Philbin, sure. It's why not? John Candy. I don't oh, know who that is. Candy, I know Uncle that. Uncle Buck, Cool Runnings, The Great Outdoors. Okay, just keep train, going. Plane, trains, and automobiles. Seen zero of those movies. Okay. I've seen Plane, Trains. Well, no, we have seen The Great Outdoors. Those ones. Santa Claus. Yeah, do the Santa Claus. Yeah, let's do the Santa Claus. All right. Where do Scott and Charlie go after Scott burns the Christmas Eve turkey? Denny's. 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 It's all Denny's. Denny's. Denny's correct. I knew you guys would get that one. Because yeah, you're talking about it non-stop. Denny's -stop. will be in our film. What are the points? Is Pat um, Patrick worse? It's the same. So Patrick's ahead. Sam's one behind him. You're two behind him. I'm worried about this. I don't know this movie super well. All right. Laura and Neil call the police because they... Th yeah, okay. Laura and Neil call the police because they think Scott has kidnapped Charlie, but in reality, where did Charlie go? The, the North, North Pole. The North Pole. The North Pole. These ones are a little... 
<laughs> I'm not reading these before. Yeah. Are these, like, you didn't know, you didn't come up with these questions. No, this is just from a web. Uh, okay, well, maybe the other ones were Scott way Calvin's hard. Scott job at the beginning of the movie? He Shoot. sells, um... Do they uh, even, like, he doesn't... He's... I thought he was unemployed. Which is the one where he comes up... Is, no, are, are I'm, thinking of, um, I'm thinking of Clark Griswold's job. But... Mm. I'll say he sells insurance. Patrick thinks he's an insurance salesman. Can I just say salesman? Is that that's a little too boring? It's got to be something boring. Oh, I'm gonna go unemployed. I don't think he had a job. No, no, no. wait. So you're lacking insurance. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Because I remember he's in the boardroom. Is this multiple choice? No. Isn't he like an? He's like an architect or something. He's like a toy designer. Doesn't he like does I'm so close. Max doesn't know. No, I'm so close. I remember him being in the boardroom. No, he designs like he uh fireworks, doesn't he? Fireworks? No. No. Okay. Or toys. <laughs> fire, fire, toy fire, fire, fireworks. Is, uh, is he like a toy designer or something? He locked in toy designer. Yeah, I'll go with the toy designer. I'm so and, close. And, and what, Sam? I'll just go with toy designer. Okay, I'm gonna give you two points because he's a toy salesman. Yes, okay. I knew it. That's toy related. You said insurance salesman. That's so, so stupid. <laughs> no, because I remember. Is in the that a point or no? Yeah, he's well, in the boardroom eating like all the ice cream and stuff. And I remember. Like I remember he so has it's a call tied now. Oh no, you two are tied, Max. I remember he has a conversation with one point with Charlie about how he is Santa Claus before he's actually Santa Claus because he like sells toys or makes toys or something like that. It's not. It's not important. But yeah. Uh, what job does Charlie's stepfather have? He is a uh, psychologist or a therapist. One of oh, the two. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 The psychiatrist, yeah. yeah. Okay. You all get a point for that one. All right. Now we're going to move on to another movie. We'll do a third movie and then we'll call it quits. I hate that guy. <laughs> who's, who's winning now? I know you two are tied and he's behind you guys. Okay. All right. Um, we'll do Christmas Vacation since we're all big fans. Yeah, we know that one the best. Which magazine is Clark trying to read with sticky fingers in bed? <sighs> this one's hard. I think I'm gonna guess the funny answer, which is Playboy. I'm gonna say People Magazine. Okay. It's either People Playboy or one they just made up for the movie. So. Yeah, yeah I, I think it was is it a Playboy. It's Playboy. If I guess it's so, made up for the movie, like does that count? Two Playboy. No. And what's you? I would say you? furniture catalog. I thought it was like jet furniture skis. catalog. Or, so it was like or is it the one with the pools? It was like a girl with a jet ski. Um, I remember there's a woman on the cover. Yeah, there's like a woman. With I'll say and People Magazine. Like so people and Playboy. Playboy yeah. Yeah, sure. All right, Playboy. Patrick is correct. It's People Magazine. Oh, so dang! Pools ahead. Dang! All right. Am I two behind again now? You're two behind, you're one behind. We'll do two more questions, unless... It's well, fine. we'll... Yeah. All right. Clark so wears no a like... navy blue baseball cap that represents which NFL team? Uh, NFL Colts. team? Colts. Yeah, I'm guessing the Colts because it's not the Cowboys, and that's the only or other the navy Detroit blue one, ones. I think. There's it's not the Detroit one. What, what, can you restate the question? Clark wears a navy blue baseball cap that represents which NFL team? Yeah, I'm, I'm just locking in Colts. It's navy blue, so... Give me a minute. Yeah. It could be the Giants. There's really no other navy blue team other than... It's like... not the Giants. No, they're not Where is he from? Blue. Indianapolis. If I tell you the city, then you'll have to... Yeah, it's... Yeah, they're... I'll give you a hint, though. Okay. Every other John Hughes movie is set there. Go to school. I'll go with the Colts. So, Colts, Colts... Yeah, what? just Colts all around. Colts, it's the Bears. Oh, they're, and they're in Chicago. Oh, I okay. We were in Indiana. You were just there. Yeah, I, I was looking at you like, come on. <laughs> I didn't know it. They're like darker blue. They're more navy than navy. <clears throat> all right. Um, I thought they were orange. Okay. No, that's like I got an orange outline. What's the name of Clark's boss? Oh shoot, Mister. Mister Gorbachev. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. God, Bob what? something. Bob. I'm going to guess Mr. Verblansky. Mr. Gerblansky? Verblansky. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Well, Patrick, we should have had like buzzers. It doesn't well, I want you guys to think it. Yeah. Right. Hillman. Mr. Bob Hillman. Mr. Like Bob him. Hillman, all right. I don't think that's right. Uh, Max? <laughs> all right, you are all wrong. It's Frank Shirley. Frank, all right, uh, we'll do one that. more question. 
if you guys tie it, keep going. If you yeah, don't, yeah. Patrick wins. All right. Um, what department store does Buddy get a job at? Are this we doing Buddy? Elf? It's Elf now. Oh, oh. it's uh, Gimbals. Yeah, it's Gimbals. Gimbals. All right. Yeah, it is Gimbals. So Patrick wins then. Yep. All righty. Let's go. I'm the Woo! champion. Everyone give open, Patrick a round of applause. Everybody shirt. give. Yay! Wait, wait, wait! We gotta change. All right, wait. On, on camera, Pat, you gotta back it up. Back it up. All right, Patrick. All right, wrap what's your he? Gift. What's he got? What do they get? Do 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 do. It's still wrapped. You gotta do more unwrapping. It could just be wrapping. What is it? It could. Oh, it's a Blu-ray oh, copy really of the good. Emoji God, Movie. Oh, thank God. I lost. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, I got you an actual gift. I actually got yeah, you go. the camera angle. Ooh, oh, yeah, there you go. I got him an IHOP. Put it towards card. the camera. You should yeah. got him a Whataburger gift card. That was a good prank. <laughs> that was a good plot yeah, twist. Can, can that was a good, this that was a good <laughs> for the, the meth heads that run the Bloomington IHOP. <laughs> All right. Well, that is doxed with City Event. <laughs> well, that was our fun Christmas episode. I hope you I hope you it. all had a great time um, on the This McDonald so Christmas special. That'll be our final episode of the year. So, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Holidays, happy New Year, Happy Kwanzaa, um, Happy a... Hanukkah. There's another one, right? Nope. Happy have... New Year. If we don't, do we see them on New Year yet? No. Are we well, okay? Uh, happy I hope New you Year. Have a fun and safe holiday. We'll be back um, sometime in January. Back to our we love you. Uh, Tucker, Tucker, show him Bernie Sanders. Let me get him, guys. We have Bernie Sanders is here with us in the Bernie studio. Bernie Sanders live in the studio. He was our studio. Here, let audience. me see. The, the, wait, hold him up to the camera. I'll do his voice. I would like to wish you and all your family a Merry Christmas this holidays. Whatever holiday you celebrate, just I, just, I don't want to offend anyone, so vote for me, please. But I, uh, um, if you, uh, Christmas time, Christmas. you know, Santa Claus actually believed in, in taking down the top 1%. That's why he distributes the wealth, his wealth, to the bottom 99% is by taking the presents, and he gives them to everyone. And he's actually, that's Santa Claus. A anyways, I need to take my heart meds. <laughs> All right. All right. What a good way to end the year, so everybody. If, uh, if you want to find us on the audio platforms, we're available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, everywhere you find your audio podcasts. And Tucker finally uploaded them all. We're so. available here on YouTube at the McDoncast. We're, we're at Twitter at McDon Media on Instagram, the same thing. And check me out on Twitch at McDon right. Streams. So from we all live of every us day. here at McDon Media to you at home. Merry Christmas and goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Merry Christmas.